So I don't know if you've seen this yet. Normally I'd have to tell you if you had bad conduct, you're not able to get VA home loan benefits. However, comma, this came out on April 25th. The VA expands access to care for benefits, et cetera, et cetera. Let's get into what qualifies. And before anybody starts going sideways, this includes service members who got dishonorably discharged for bad conduct because they didn't take the vaccine. So this is gonna cover a lot of people that got separated when they probably shouldn't have been separated. I'll put the link for this in my bio, but if you had bad conduct, the VA is now giving expanded access to benefits, including housing benefits and healthcare benefits based on what you got discharged for. The first one here is this one. I've had a lot of veterans who were discharged for willful and persistent misconduct, who were doing things that other parts of their command had ordered them to do like their jobs. Um, this part to all of, let me just get out of the way. Also, anybody that was previously denied, I'm going to go ahead and encourage you to reapply because they are making this essentially a fresh start for anybody that had previously been denied for an upgrade to their current discharge status. Now, this has already been a thing, but take a note of this because this is important. The VA is not the same thing as the DOD. And while you're doing this, if you are eligible to apply for an appeal again or get benefits, remember the VA is not the one that gave you that bad conduct. They are trying to help. And I've had the VA overturn decisions before when I gave them the right data points to make decisions to overturn it. So I've seen it happen. This is just letting everybody know, hey, you guys should reapply because we're making the official decision to put a process in place for you. Hope this helps.